six reasons why you should become financially independent and retire early. Stay to the end because the last reason to me is by far the most important reason. So stay to the end and go through these six reasons why you should retire early. I told you that reason number one was the biggest one. I've got goosebumps. I've actually got goosebumps about this reason. Even my head feels tingly because I've got so much goosebumps about this reason. Reason number six why you should become financially independent and retire early is because the best years of your life are at the end of your life. Currently, the situation is you will retire at 65 years old. At this point, you will be much older. Your body will be much older. I don't know about you, but a lot of the time, I'm 35 years old right now, but a lot of the time, I actually feel maybe about 25. In my head, I feel about 25. But when something happens, like I pull my, a muscle in my back, all of a sudden, I feel about 60. I move really slowly and I find it hard to get around just for that few days while I've pulled my muscle in my back. Now imagine when you're 65 and your body aches a lot more, it's hard to move, you do not have that mobility anymore, and this is the time that you're supposed to enjoy your life, this is the point of your life where you're supposed to fulfill all your life's goals and all your life dreams, it's not gonna happen, it doesn't happen that way. You owe it to yourself, you owe it to your life. You have a debt to your life, one day you will die. At the moment I am 35, one day I will die. Between the age of 35 and the year that I die, I owe a debt to my life to live a joyful and fulfilling life. It's important and honorable that we do this. We do not want any regrets on our deathbed. So reason number six is because you don't want to enjoy your best years in your worst years when it comes to your body and your mobility. You want to enjoy your best years, achieve all your goals and dreams, when you have youth in your body, when you can really thoroughly enjoy the things that you want to do. Reason number five on why you should retire early and become financially independent. Reason number five is you have the freedom. You have freedom to do what you want. When you become financially independent and you're allowed to retire early, you have freedom. Now your mind might instantly go to, you can travel the world. Yes, that is correct. But what happens if you don't want to travel the world and you do actually want to work? Well, that's absolutely fine. You have the freedom to work if you want to. If, you, if you're going through a phase in your life and you just decide that you want to learn how to fix a car, go get a job as an apprentice, as a mechanic. It doesn't matter. The salary doesn't matter. You are financially free and financially independent. If you want to know how to do landscape gardening, go be an apprentice there. There are many jobs and phases that you go through through your life and you can just go and do a job for six months, learn all you need to learn and then do one. Just sack it off. Get all that knowledge and have fun with it. That's okay. Imagine going to work and just having fun with it, doing the things that you want to do just for the sake of doing it. That is the type of freedom I'm talking about. So you can actually still go to work. You can travel the world. You can see friends and family as and when you want to see your friends and family. You have the freedom you have nobody to answer to. You can just do what you want, when you want. If you want to sleep in, if you want to get up early and see a sunrise, it is up to you. If you want to have, pull an all-nighter and go out on the town, that's okay. Do what you want. You have freedom. So reason number five is that you have freedom. Reason number four why you should retire early is because your time, your time is not your time. And I'll explain that to you. In this working world, we are told that we have eight hours sleep, eight hours of work, and eight hours of your time. This is the time I'm talking about that is not actually your time. The things you do in your time is not the things that you would do if you were financially free and financially independent and retired early. You do the things in your time to prepare yourself to go to work. For example, you get home from work and you have no energy. So you sit on the sofa and watch Netflix. You think this is something that you like to do, but you would not be doing this if you were retiring early and financially independent. You wouldn't be doing it. You would already have the energy. You wouldn't have lost the energy throughout the day because of work. You would have energy to go and do, go out there into the world and gain experiences and do the things that you want to do. This is why I'm saying that your time is not your time. 
When you have your breaks and lunches at work, you are encouraged to get things out of the way and prepare to go back to work. Go and make yourself a hot drink. Go, go to the toilet, eat some food, be ready to go back to work. This is not a break, this is an extension of work and it's you preparing to go to work. When you are commuting, it's on your time. When you're putting on your makeup and getting ready to go to work, it's on your time. All this is eaten into your time. So your time is not actually your time. In reality, all the time that you are not working, you are usually preparing or recouping to go back to work. You have very, very few hours of actually your time. If you retire early and you are financially independent, your time becomes your time. You remove the quotation marks and your time turns into your time. Because when you wake up on a morning, you can decide when you wake up. You can get up early and see a sunrise. You can get up late, you can have a lie in. It is up to you, you can do what you want. You get up and do the things that are fulfilling to you. If you need a rest, you're needing a rest from doing the things that you wanted to do in your time. That is your time. So reason number four is to turn your time into your time. Reason number three on why you should retire early, and that is to remove a portion of the anxiety that you suffer in your life. The majority of us suffer some form of anxiety, whether it is severe medical anxiety or whether it is just a little bit of anxiety, we all suffer from some anxiety in our life. It is a common trend that if you are working a nine to five job on a Friday, you feel good. This is because the anxiety has been removed and you have two days off of work. On Sunday evening, the anxiety kicks in again. You feel that anxiety knowing that you have to go to work tomorrow. That anxiety peaks on the Monday and has a steady decline and through till Friday. So you have a week of anxiety that you go through when you work a job, when you work a nine to five job. Reason number three why you should retire early is because it removes that portion of the anxiety. Yes, you'll still be anxious at other things in your life, but at least this anxiety has been removed. We don't want that stress and anxiety in our brain. We all know that stress and anxiety is a poison on your body. So if we remove that from our life, remove that portion of anxiety and stress from our life, all of a sudden our body is healthier, we are happier, and we have less anxiety in our life. The reason number three is to remove a portion of the anxiety that you suffer in your life. If you are liking this type of content, do not forget to press the like and subscribe button. We have an upcoming video. This video is on why you should retire early. The upcoming video that is coming out very, very soon is how to retire early. So I'm not just telling you why you should, I'm telling you how you can retire early. So do not forget to click the notification bell to make sure that you get the alert so you can watch the video on how you can retire early. Reason number two, the penultimate reason why you should become financially independent and retire early. Reason number two is that you are born in debt. You are born in debt. From the day that you are born, you are destined to go to work. You are destined to be employed and go to work and have to make money. You go to school. Schools are made to make you a laborer, to make you a worker. That's the point of schools. Schools are not there to teach and educate you. The reason why you learn about different shaped triangles is not because you have to use those in your life when you go into the working world. We all ask ourselves the question, why did they teach us that? Almost no one ever uses that. What was the point? The point was to see if you are obedient and if you are obedient and going to be a good worker. Schools make you into a good worker. That is their goal. We don't pay for the school. Think about who's paying for the school. The government is paying for, the, for us to go to school. The government wants us to work. The government wants us to pay taxes and investment for the government. It's not for our benefit. It is seen as for our benefit. You have no choice but to go to school. If your parents do not take you to school, your parents could go to jail, which is crazy because as a parent, you have the God-given right to parent your own child. To be told that your child has to go to school and be parented by someone else during the school hours or you will go to prison, that is crazy to me. That is absolutely crazy to me. But you are born in debt. You're born in debt, so you go to school and when you finish school, you have to go out into the working world. You have not been taught how to be a hunter-gatherer and go and scavenge and live off the land and hunt. You've not been taught any of this. You have no idea how to do any of this. So if you do not go out and work, you cannot afford food, you cannot eat, and you will die. So you have to go to work. You have to go to work to pay the bills, to have shelter, to have food, to survive. 
you have to go to work. So you're born in this world in debt. You do not have freedom from day one. The day you are born and you're in that hospital, you are destined, you have to go to school, you have to get an education and you have to go to work. This just proves that freedom is not free. Okay, we can have freedom, but it does come at a price. You have to pay that price of freedom. If you want to know how to become financially free, financially independent, make sure you do click on that notification bell to watch the next video. If you want to go even further into it and really change your mindset on this world, buy the course by Vikings University in the link below. This will absolutely change your mentality on the world and help you become financially independent and retire early. This course is 16 hours long. It is huge. It will fundamentally change and rewire your brain and help you become financially independent and retire early and live a rich and fulfilling life. So the link in the description below for Vikings University. Reason number one, and to me, this is the biggest reason why you should gain independence, financial independence and retire early. And that is so you can be your true self. You can be who you really are. I have seen it so many times throughout my working life through employment, I've seen so many people that have big characters, they've got a big personality and they start their job, they go into the working world, they go through training, they are coached and they are drilled to suppress that personality, that character of who they really are. Now one of two things happens in that situation, either that person suppresses their character, suppresses their personality and falls in line and continues working or that person loses it and quits their job and says, no, I cannot stand losing my character and personality. I do not even know if they're consciously doing this or subconsciously, their subconscious cannot take it, cannot make that change. They are who they are. They're a special person with a big character and a big personality. So to suppress that, it just will not work. When you retire early and you become financially independent and basically you have FU money, when you have FU money, you can say, no, you are not changing my character. You are not taking away my personality. I am who I am and I'm going to express who I am, my true thoughts, my true feelings and be who I really want to be. So when you are independent, you don't care when someone says you shouldn't say this, you shouldn't say that, you shouldn't do this. You'll, you'll just say, that's fine. If you don't want me doing this, then you can let me go. You can sack me. That's fine. That doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to change my personality. I was definitely one of those people that suppressed their personality. I fell in line and that was the impact on me when I first started working. Now I have come out of my shell. Absolutely not. I'm not suppressing my personality anymore. I am me. I am Max. I am me and I'm going to be my true character and my true personality. I am here on the internet expressing who I really am and telling you my thoughts and beliefs. I'm not going to let that go anymore. When you realize that you are suppressed, you may never ever get that back. You may be so brainwashed that you'll never ever get that back. You are just a product of the company that you work for. They made you who you are. They made that personality of who you really are. So you need to be careful and you owe it to yourself to retire early and become financially independent. Just imagine if you're there on your deathbed and you think, I never lived the life that I was supposed to. I never expressed my character. I never showed the world who I am and my personality because I was suppressed. Now you do not want that for yourself. You want your character, you want your personality, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to the world and the world will be thankful for you if you show yourself and show your true character to the world. I told you that reason number one was the biggest one. I've got goosebumps, I've actually got goosebumps about this reason, even my head feels tingly because I've got so much goosebumps about this reason. Being your true self is huge. Imagine a world where everyone has a character, everyone has a big personality and expresses it. Imagine how amazing that world will be. Yes, we'll have horrible people and yes, we'll have great people, but we'll have so much character and this world would be such a huge and interesting place to be in if everyone had their character. If everyone retires early and becomes financially independent and has FU money, you can get your character out there in the world and I'm gonna thank you for it. I'm gonna thank you for getting your own character into the world and I can't wait to see it. I hope I meet you one day and I cannot wait to see your true character.
Wow, we've really been through all those six reasons and those are some big reasons on why you should retire early. There's some conspiracies in there that you are born in debt and freedom is not free. If you want to learn how your money isn't really your money, then click on this video here and I'll tell you why your money is not really your money.